day, oh, new day, new verse, out here in the wilds, the joy of Las Vegas, so pardon the wind. <laughs> Today's verses we're reading through are 7 through 10, that's 7. And then what happened? Well, when Israel tried to be right with God on her own, pursuing her own self-interest, she didn't succeed. The chosen ones of God were those who let God pursue his interest in them, and as a result received his stamp of legitimacy. The self-interest Israel became thick-skinned toward God. Moses and Isaiah both commented on this. Fed up with their quarrelsome, self-centered ways, God blurred their eyes and dulled their ears, shut them in on themselves in a hall of mirrors, and they're there to this day. David was upset about the same thing. I hope they get sick eating self-serving meals. Hope. Oh, sorry, like I said, a bit of a breezy day. I hope they break a leg walking their self-serving ways. I hope they go blind staring at their mirrors to get ulcers from playing God. And, you know, I think there is a truism to the idea here about when we try and do it our own way as opposed to letting God do it his way. You know, we try to play in the method of saying, oh look, I'm, I'm getting in on my own merits. You know, in a lot of ways we use the concept of faith without works is dead. But I don't think it means that the works have to be done, you know, in order to get into heaven. I think the works are done because you know where you're going. You know, that the true belief of it triggers the action. That it is not a matter of, you know, us thinking we can get to God on our own hands. It's a matter of trusting God to get us to Him, Himself. Like, because if we could do it, just thinking about it for a moment, if we could do it on our own, we wouldn't need Jesus. We have the law code. But clearly, since we can't, we do need Jesus. That He dies for our sins, that He's raised to life so that we can be too. That kind of love, that kind of mercy, that is what we respond to, that God is working in and through us because we get out of the way and let him. And it gives me hope that, you know, as we dwell with the Lord, as we dig into him, we can learn what that looks like. We can live to offer love. We can start walking the path he has for us by letting him do it rather than trying to do it ourselves. That in a way it's mercy and surrender and leaning into sacrifice. That sacrifice begets sacrifice. And it, it's a wonderful thing that we can reflect his love by living it. And it's something I hope we do. Rather than trying to do it the self-interest way or the self-help way. Rather than trying to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. We let God lift the laces. You know what I mean? Like God will pull us out. Always. And I know, you know, as somebody who's trying very hard to go it alone and be that island unto themselves, I can promise that it doesn't work. There are times when we are able to pull out of those situations, but I would argue that it is God using those around us to get us through it. God works through me. And I hope it's something that we can focus on. Letting God use us. That we can be a blessing to others. Because we are blessed. Well, tomorrow we will be digging into... Assuming we wind pulling the pages away. Uh, here we go. 11 and 12 under a new section tomorrow. But for today, I just ask. Are you trying to do it on your own? Or are you embracing letting God do it through you? the uh, ladder. Here's praying that we rest in him. I will see you guys all tomorrow. God bless and may his blessing be upon you in Jesus' name.